Hello everybody, I'm Nanette Floyd Patterson, the Vision Manifestation Queen. Welcome to the Get Free, Get Clear, Get Moving broadcast, where I help Christian women visionaries get free from vision blockers, get clear on the vision so they can get moving on whatever it is that God has already given them permission to do. Did you know that if God has already given you permission to do something that you don't need anybody else's permission? Let's get started. Today, we're continuing the series, Why We Are So Indecisive. Are you indecisive because you can't stand another critic in your life? I know as a child, as a grown up in school, you were bullied. You had critics. You even have critics now. And so you're at a point now that you just can't tolerate another critic. Therefore, you have decided to be indecisive. I know in our community, we always refer to Satan as that voice, that voice that keeps us from doing what God has called us to do. You know, that voice that causes us to doubt or have fear. Well, Satan is certainly on the job. However, you have another inner critic and that is your inner child. And so what I want to talk to you about is ways to quiet that inner child. The first thing you need to do is believe. Step one is to believe Philippians 4 and 13 that says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. You see, I can't believe for you. You have to make a decision that you sit that you're simply going to believe that power scripture that God has blessed us with. That's step one, to believe that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. The second step is to name your inner critic. Name that inner child that is constantly saying, you can't do this. Who do you think you are? You'll never be any good. You see what's happening, you're also hearing all of the negative voices, all of the negative noise that you've experienced from the time you were a little girl or a little boy. So the second step, the second step is to name that inner child so you can address the inner child when you begin to doubt whether you can do what God has given you to do. I call my inner child Marie. And so whenever I'm about to do something really, really big and my inner child is saying, oh, you can't do this. Oh, you can't do that. You know, I already know Satan. If I renounce him in the name of Jesus, he's supposed to flee. But the inner child voice is still there. And so what I do is tell people to shut the inner child up by simply saying, whatever you call your inner child, shut up. I got this because God has my back. So I would say, Marie, that's the name of my inner child. Marie, sit down somewhere. I got this because God has my back. So step two is to name your inner critic. Step three and the last step is to make an uncommon commitment to simply believe what God has given you in his word. Believe what he's saying to you and believe that he will give you the resources, the tools, and the connections to do what he has already ordained you to do, what he has already given you permission to do. So again, step one, simply believe Philippians 4.13 that says you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Two, name your inner critic. And when your inner critic starts talking to you, speak to the inner critic and tell it to sit down somewhere. And then you take authority and boldly do what God has given you to do. And the third thing is to make a common commitment to believe that you can do this because God has your back. I'm Nanette Floyd Patterson, the Vision Manifestation Queen. I'm a licensed professional counselor, master his coach, consultant to women who want to open or start a Christian life coaching business. Now, I want to give you a gift. If you are a Christian woman who aspire to start a Christian coaching business, I would love for you to go to bit.ly 12 
Christian Coaching Biz, B-I-Z, to get my free 12-step guide on how to start a Christian coaching practice or business that is authentically you. You see, whatever business you start, you want it to be unique and you want it to flow with your design. God bless.